Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing the definition of a hypothesis with some examples. So, a hypothesis is a tentative interpretation or explanation of the observations. A good hypothesis is falsifiable. This means it makes predictions that can be confirmed or refuted by further observations. Just a side note, um, experiments test a hypothesis and are designed to generate observations, so this pulls back into the definition of a hypothesis. So. Just some examples. Um, which of the following is a hypothesis? Eating greasy food causes pimples, or getting pimples is unaffected by eating greasy food? Well, when you look at both of them, you can kind of figure out that they are both observations, but one is tested better than the other. So for example, eating greasy food causes pimples. You can eat all the greasy food you want, and you could still get pimples, but you're not completely certain that the greasy food caused the pimples. Whereas in the second one, getting pimples is unaffected by eating greasy food. You could not eat greasy food and still get pimples, and then that proves your hypothesis correct. So basically what you want to do is after you test, you want to revise your hypothesis. And this, of course, is all just part of the scientific method. Okay, so in the last example, this is straight off of a test that you would most likely have to take. Uh, which of the following represents a valid hypothesis? Sodium metal reacts violently with water. Lead is soft and malleable. Oxygen is a gas at room temperature. And metals tend to lose electrons. So you can see that they all are observations, but the answer is actually D, because it can be tested, whereas the other ones are just pure observations and are not easily tested. You could perform a test to prove that metals tend to lose electrons or disprove that. And that is everything, so if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, leave any questions. And I plan on making more videos soon.